Now, Terry George is a millionaire businessman who's living the dream with a swimming pool, a mansion and a fantastic lifestyle. And he managed to achieve all of this despite leaving school at 16 without a single qualification. So what does he think is the value of a university education in this day and age? Hi, guys. You all right? All right. Just checking how it's going. Yeah, go thank you. It's student night at one of my venues, and it's going to be packed. So there's no way we can split the queue, is there, and, like, push half of them to the other side? No, not really. I've made my money out of property, telecoms, bars and clubs. What time are we on until tonight? Six o'clock. Six in the morning? Yeah. yeah. What time are you working till? Six. Six. These students are my customers. There's over a thousand people here, and I'm the only one who hasn't been to university. There's going to be, uh, there's going to be some guys come over from Emmerdale a bit later on. They've got a night on round the corner. All right. So... It might not look like it, but being a student is not just about having a good time. Most of these kids are hoping to get good jobs. It was different for me when I was growing up here in Leeds. I got nothing out of education. I've never passed an exam in my life apart from a driving test. It's unusual, really, coming back to my street where I grew up. Uh, I knew all the neighbours, and I can tell you that none of them, including myself, thought about going to university. It was something that never crossed our minds. What we were thinking about is how could we pay our bills? How could we keep the electric on? You know, and how could we pay for food? It's so different these days. This is my old house. Sometimes my parents struggle to feed us. When times were tough, we did the best we could. Just down the road, I went to school. Now it's been pulled down. I spent most of my time here at the back of the class, until I was old enough to go. I left here at the age of 16 without any qualifications. I thought it was time to go out into the big wide world and make some money. These days, some students seem to spend as much time protesting about money as they do studying. University is getting more and more expensive. Students will have to pay tuition fees of up to £9,000 a year. Some people have started wondering, is it still worth going to university? This is South Emsall. It used to be a mining town, but the pit closed nearly 20 years ago. Round here, like me, a lot of kids haven't even thought about going to university. I'm meeting some sixth formers from the local school. What do they think about getting a degree? So out of all you guys here, um, can you put your hands up as to how many of you have had your parents go to university? Oh. <laughs> but these teenagers don't want to follow in their parents' footsteps. Uh, my mum works in a factory. She does work hard. I don't think she sees the rewards that she deserves. And I, I want those rewards. Some of my friends haven't gone to university, so I kind of feel sorry for them because they're going to be stuck in that one place where they can't get any higher. Factory work? Yeah, factory work at next for the rest of my life. Some people... Good. Some people leave, like, college and uni because they think that getting a factory job's better because they can get money straight away, but no-one's going to want to stay in a factory the rest of their life. They'll just get bored. That's good to uni to do something you love, shouldn't you? In the long run, they'll wish they'd done something else. What about the fees for you? Is that going to be something that's going to put you off, or are you going to have you got plans to get around that? Well, I have to really consider it because my course is seven years, and I have a businessman that worked it out for me, and it comes up to about 150,000. And what is it you're going to be doing? I would want to be an architect. Nowadays, nearly half of all teenagers go to university. I've spent my life wondering what would have happened if I'd have gone. A lot of people say to me, well, why do you need to go to university? Because of course you've been very successful. Uh, yes, that's true, but what I've done is I've surrounded myself with people who have been to university, people that have got degrees, you know, a lot of intelligent and clever people. But university isn't everything. Some people are opting out of student life and going straight to work. I've come to a law firm here in Leeds to meet some people who have found out that you don't have to be a graduate to get a job here. This law firm takes on school leavers as apprentices. I've always wanted to work in law since I can remember. And going to university, I'm not guaranteed a job when I come out, whereas after this course and this apprenticeship, I'm guaranteed a job. Jasmine, you seem very focused and it looks like you were going to go to university but changed your mind at the last minute. I'm not going to lie and say that this was the 100% true opportunity that I'd have gone for. If university was free or heav heavily subsidised like it used to be, I'd have definitely gone to uni. So on a morning now, you two get up and dress smart and you've got to come to work, but yet your friends will be staying in bed till 11 o'clock, going to uni and dressing how they want. How do you feel about that? 
Um, I feel differently about it on the 28th of the month when I get my pay and they're at uni waiting for the student loan. These days, going to university is about money, lots of money. Not just for the students, but for places like these as well. Universities are big business and they say they're offering customers an attractive product. The, the key thing that they get when they come to university is, is a life opportunity. I mean, this is a completely life-changing event. You will leave here with a fantastic skill set um, and you will end up in a job, hopefully, where you'll enjoy yourself for the rest of your life and you'll probably be paid more too. Student fees are going up, but the Vice-Chancellor's not doing too badly. Last year, he earned salary and benefits of £319,000. I think if you look nationally, um, I run the second biggest university uh, in the country, and I think I received the 20th highest salary. So, and I've had no, um, you know, at my own volition, by the way, I've had no pay increase for the last three years. OK, so you've forked out your money, you've got your degree, you'd expect to walk into a good job. But will you? Paula Nice and Hannah Dickinson both got good degrees from Leeds University. Paula got a first and Hannah got a 2-1. But they can't find a well-paid job. We have had to sort of dramatically lower our expectations. Um, and I signed up with a job agency recently and said I was sort of hoping for £15,000 up. And they said, basically, it's completely unrealistic and people with lots more experience than me are looking for that. Um, and that's fine. I I'm not sort of money driven, um, but it's just not maybe what we expected. Mm. I have to say I'm pretty shocked because I'm hearing stories about people who have graduated can be expecting to get 22,000 plus. But that's not what you're telling me. Yeah, I I'm not sure where that. those jobs are. <laughs> <laughs> But the teenagers from South Emsall have high hopes. We're at Leeds Metropolitan University to take a look around. How are you? Yeah, all right. Yeah, nice to see you. How are you everyone? You all right? These are all the guys. I've got involved at Leeds Met. We want school kids from all backgrounds to think about going to university. Yasser Rajan is student union president. So if you were going to be one of the new generation of people to come to university who's going to have the fees, mm. would that put you off? It would be something I'd consider but it, I don't think it's something that should put someone off. Because uh, coming to university, what you will learn, it, I think it's, it's priceless. I, I mean, even if it's 20 grand a year, I would still do it just for the experience of meeting different people, kind of understanding different cultures, uh, just learning who you are. And that's something that I think is really important over all the fees. I'm taking the teenagers round my home. This is what I've worked for. 30 years ago, I never dreamt I'd live somewhere like this. You got your swimming costume? No. Oh, you're not skinny dipping. One of the bedrooms. You don't have to be a graduate to live in a house like this. So I want you guys to all go to uni, do well, and then come and buy this house off me. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, as you can see, I've done pretty well for myself, and I never went to university. Has anybody had a change of heart yet? Hands up who still wants to go to uni. Did you not put your hand up? No. Well, not, but um, I've changed, I don't want to be a teacher anymore because I wouldn't earn enough, I wouldn't be able to build up a life like this. So has this put you off? It has a bit, yeah. I'm sorry. It has <laughs> put me off, but spawned me on to do something else. I'm sure all these kids have a bright future. One of them's not sure about university, but all the others are going ahead, and I agree with them. So what I've learned from this is that university isn't for everyone. And yes, the fees are going up. But you can't put a price on education. There's more to it as well than just the fees. There's the aspect of meeting new people, the opportunities to open up new doors. Despite my success, looking back, I would have definitely gone to university. Mm -hmm.